very good afternoon everybody and uh, today i'm going to talk about the evolution of medical termination of pregnancy act in india now as we all know medical termination of pregnancy is a very hot topic nowadays not only in india but even in us and in some european countries with the various laws being changed very recently regarding termination of pregnancy and luckily in our country in india we have a very robust law which has been improvised again and again and the reason imp improvisation is really appreciable that has been done by the government of india so uh, as forensic experts uh, it is seen it's my personal observation that most of these acts are being taught to students of uh, mbbs who are actually not going to the raids or the inspection that are being conducted of the centers in india like very recently our government is very active and uh, there have been various raids on various uh, establishments where illegal uh, terminations have been done or even uh, where uh, sex determination is being done for female feticide purpose and this is a very big uh, problem that we indians are facing uh, it, it has become a menace uh, and it is affecting our population ratios also but the problem what i see is the team that goes for raiding there it can, has one doctor test or for uh, various forensic experts or uh, forensic scientists now i think this uh, act should be very clearly and very Uh, meticulously and in detail should be taught to them so that those at the real ground grassroots people who are collecting evidence should know what is to be collected and what is not to be considered as a evidence hence i am presenting it although it appears to be a matter of law and uh, forensic medicine but it has got a very big implication on the forensic scientists that are working in the field Uh, to start with the uh, act came into being in 1971 before that there was no concrete act to safeguard the rights of for termination of pregnancy and was considered illegal after that this right were given to the women where pregnancies could be terminated up to 20 weeks uh, it was further uh, two three parts were done one was the mtp rules and regulations were laid down rules usually gave the uh details of the person who could terminate like up to 12 weeks one doctor one registered medical practitioner doctor means a registered medical practitioner not a quack could terminate the pregnancy and after 12 weeks up to 20 weeks two registered medical practitioners should have given their opinion for this termination then there were training requirements of this registered medical practitioners like conducting 25 mtps five independently and a training of six months at least in as a house surgeon so all these Uh, requirements were there then the places have to be approved by the uh, district medical chief medical officer of the district and again uh, regulations were laid down where paperwork how the paperwork has to be done now with time the things changed and some lacuna came up which over the period of time the government realized that uh, yes we have some lacunas and they are these are by channels by which the criminals escape so again in 2002 amendments were made which implemented in 2003 here what was there uh, done a punishment was uh, uh, introduced proper punishment before that only uh, the people were punished under section 312 of the ipc but later specific punishment of 2 to 7 years imprisonment was implemented for was introduced for uh, contravention of the mtp act then the term lunatic was used which was again uh, unethical by the time because there had been changes in the mental health act of india and this term was changed to a mentally ill person or mentally ill patient then uh, another change was made that the place approval of place of uh, conducting these mtps was to be decided not by one person but by a proper committee of 3 to 5 members which was headed by the civil surgeon or the district head of the medical uh, field of the district now very recently a change has been made and a dramatic and a drastic improvement i would call it on as my uh, judgment over it or my perception of it has been made in the act uh, so that it strengthens the women's rights and also helps her to uh, decide whether uh, she will bear or continue a pregnancy or not here the biggest change that has been made is the 20 week barrier has been removed earlier what used to happen lot of pregnancies used to be detected by 20 weeks and by that time uh, the case used to come to the doctors for termination of pregnancy especially in rape cases because 
people uh, girls had a lot of apprehension about uh, telling the truth only it was about 4 to 5 months when they could not hide the matter the matter came into light police case was registered and patient used to come for mtv and by that time the 20 week period window had gone, has uh, been over and the termination could not be done despite of the fact that it was genuinely required in this case so here a very good move has been made by government of india where this uh, mtp has been permitted up to 20 weeks on uh, as a rule and even beyond 20 weeks if approved by a medical board now this medical board consists of a pediatrician a sonologist and a gynecologist and some other people as required by the board maybe a forensic expert or somebody else so this has opened a totally a new window for all those women who get a delayed justice or delayed approach to justice judicial system of our country secondly what has been done as a major changes earlier there was uh, the criteria for uh, providing uh, mtp services was contraceptive failure to married women only now this has been changed to any woman now all those women who are in live in relationship or it is a woman's right uh, uh, to uh, whether to have a baby or not being married or unmarried should not be a criteria now that has been considered by the government and this has been a very good change i would say that the term married has been removed and it, the uh, benefits of this act has been extended to any woman who is above 18 years of age thirdly Uh, earlier it was uh, the marital change in marital status has been added a criteria earlier it was not that, uh, not so if someone uh, if some of some woman is widowed unfortunately or undergoes a divorce then she has a right to uh, abort that baby of the person who has died or whom she has divorced now again it this strengthens the a woman's power or woman's decision to continue the pregnancy or not to continue again empowering our women then another thing that has been added is disclosure of identity of the woman is made punishable earlier it was it guided that you cannot disclose the name of the person but it was not punishable now punishment has been introduced and all the data has to be maintained by coding you give a code number to every patient and the rest of the data has to be with the files and all those paperwork has to be done with that code name say 123 or 125 now patient 120 who is patient 125 the details name address is registered in one register which is a confidential register again the sanctity and the personal uh, privacy of that woman is maintained now the up to the latest rule says that up to 20 weeks only one registered medical practitioner can take a decision from 24 to 20 20 24 weeks two registered medical practitioners and about 24 weeks it has to be a obstetrician gynecologist specialist who is doing a, a mtp because there are high chances of complication then of course medical board can take a decision for anything more than 20 24 weeks this the criteria for this is either a rape case or a mentally uh, um, or a mentally ill person or disability of a, a person a woman who is disabled to uh, rear a child or there is a, a substantial fetal abnormality that is detected in the fetus which will lead to a very handicapped life of the child or un uh, compatible or there is a grave risk to the mother now again for place approved for mtp beyond 24 weeks they, they have taken care of this aspect also that the requirement for 20 weeks is not the same as 24 weeks because there are more chances of complication so now anything more than 24 weeks has to be done by a obstetrician gynecologist specialist and that place has to have a proper ot table anesthetic setup proper emergency surgery facilities abdomen surgery equipment drugs everything so by and large this new act that has been introduced has empowered our women has given the right and freedom to decide to have children or not if you the woman may be married or unmarried doesn't make a difference if a man ditches her or unfortunately dies then again she has a right to carry or to drop that baby so overall it is a act which is for the woman and has empowered our women in a big way and uh, our uh, forensic experts who go for uh, various inspections and raids when there uh, is a complaint of pcp and dt act that is prenatal diagnostic act and other things and even against mtp act so this 
knowledge is essential that all of us should know what is illegal and what is legal and this is in short my presentation if you have any questions please